even though we're demonstrating audio workstation tools today, we're going to start with video because every one of our systems, including the, the, the entry level system, the, the most basic system, includes a fully featured HD video recorder. And when I say HD video recorder, I mean a recorder that actually you can plug an SDI input into the back uh, straight from a vision switcher and you can record uncompressed high definition video straight to the project timeline. You can connect an HD cam, connect nine pin ports which are included in the system, hit play and go and record HD video straight to the timeline. But that's not all. Um, the system's also a really sophisticated video file server in that we can grab media from a number of different sources. It could be out on network servers, it could be coming in on a USB stick. And we can drop that media straight into your project so that you're up and ready to work. What I'm going to do is just hand over to Cliff who's going to show you what we mean by um, HD video file capability. Right, to do that I've got a collection of video files here on the screen. Um, these video files could be out on, the, on a server, on a network, um, XSAN or Unity Server, Grass Valley Group or uh, Autodesk, basically any server at all, um, we can reach out and pull your files in. I'm going to start with a really uh, quite a common file format which is the OMF. Uh, in this case it's an embedded OMF and all I have to do is drag and drop that straight on the timeline and there you go, it's ready to play and open straight away. So I'm now running that, that project um, in real time I haven't had to transcode any of the media. I haven't had to uh, copy any of the media. I'm actually playing that directly from within the embedded OMF. So to demonstrate just how powerful um, the system is at handling the video, um, everything we do on the system is real time. That includes even doing things like reversing the video track itself. So I'm just gonna reverse this video clip. There you go, and back again. And I haven't had to transcode, I haven't had to wait for that to render. I've literally just hit the reverse key and it's done in real time. Now currently I've got a 25 frame project loaded into the system. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to reach out now and grab a ProRes file. So from Final Cut, Cut Pro, here we go, ProRes file straight on the timeline, exactly the same timeline. And now I'm looking at a 2997 clip, which is a 1920 by 1080. And this time, if we look at the clip, you'll see that there's a little FR logo on the edge of the clip. And that's showing me that this clip is being frame rate converted in real time. Again, no transcoding and uh, no copying of the media, just straight onto the timeline. And you can see it frame rate converting. It looks great. But not only that, I can actually take as well onto, onto the same timeline uh, an Avid DNX file. So here I'm going to pick up a, a short Avid clip put that onto the same timeline and again you can see it's frame rate converting this time it's a 24 frame clip um, I could even put a dissolve between the two so I'm just going to dissolve between the Final Cut Pro and the Avid DNX clip and there you go and they're frame rate converting as well in real time so that's going from a 2997 to a 24 frame all running under a 25 frame project so pretty unique in that respect uh, one of the most common formats being used in broadcast where there's lots of file-based work going on now is the MXF format. Uh, we support all the different flavors of MXF, um, including the long gop, which is quite an obscure one, I believe. But anyway, there's an XD cam clip that I'm going to drop onto the same timeline again. This time it's coming with all the audio tracks, eight tracks of audio. And again, you can see that clip is running 2997. If I wanted to, I could change the project frame rate anywhere between 2398 and 60 frame. So I'm going to run this one natively at 2997 and you'll be able to see that the um, frame rate converts dropped off the previous clip as well. So there you go, that's four different codecs running on the same timeline with different frame rates, different aspect ratios, all being frame rate converted and resized in real time.